I struggle every day, not only me, but my people. We were rich in spirit because we know where we came from and we know how to live with the earth. Today we're having oppression, depression. Suicide, teen pregnancy, dropouts. Now we're getting affected with gang violence. These gangs and this drinking, it wasn't a part of us at all. There's like a funeral or a wake every other week. The vodka and meth are the popularity on the reservation right now. We are oppressed all around. We have a whole nation of neglected children. They don't know where to uh, go. They don't know who to talk to. Do I even want to live? Do I even want to be around here? It's sad. This is one of the prophecies that you worry about, the voices of the children cry. It's unconscionable to allow your freedoms to be taken away decade after decade after decade, year after year. And I'm very proud of this, by the way. My nation, the Lakota, were the first nation to militarily defeat the United States of America on the field of battle. Today, on the three major Lakota reservations, Rosebud, Standing Rock, and Pine Ridge, everywhere you look, you will see old public housing, broken by the decades. Seventy percent of high school students drop out before graduation, and seventy to eighty percent of the adults are unemployed. There is an estimated eighty percent of the adults on the reservations are alcoholic, and there is a contagious epidemic of suicide. The Standing Rock Reservation had been the second largest suicide capital in the world, second to Tokyo in 2005, and a staggering 90% of the Lakota population on the reservations live below the poverty line. What is the significance of these astounding statistics and their oppressed history?
The United States has broken every treaty ever made with the Lakota and has stripped them of their lands, their language, and their culture. The people, unable to fully experience their culture, have turned to drugs, alcohol, and suicide. Yet today, the University of North Dakota, among other U.S. organizations, glorifies the Sioux image as their mascot and logo. The university has essentialized the Lakota image as the fearsome fighting Sioux mascot, misrepresenting the people and the relationship the U.S. has had with them over the years. The NCAA has recently banned the logo's use at the University of North Dakota, deeming it offensive and derogatory towards the Sioux tribe. of pulling themselves up by their own bootstraps. They just can't do it. There's no way for them to do it. But if we can take the youth and, and try to help to turn that around, to try to stop that cycle of you know substance abuse, um, to help bring them back to their natural ways. We can do something about everything that's going on right now. The quotas, they never gave up. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna give up here. Oh, hey.